It is almost time for fall this morning. That's right. It's the last weekend of summer, so fall is, is two days away. Cameron Fontana, he is joining us live from the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium with their special event today. Cameron, Wait, where did he go? You've never looked better. There I am. Hey, good morning, Adam and Maria. How are you doing and how is Columbus doing? And as Adam said, you know, it is the last weekend before fall. Monday is the official day of fall beginning. My favorite season here in Ohio and one of the coolest events happening this weekend. It's an amazing event for the whole family here at the Columbus Zoo. It is Jack Hanna's Fall Fest. So this morning you want to stay tuned to Good Day Columbus because we're giving you a preview of all of the things that you can do with your children, with your family. Here's what we got lined up. Ready? We're going to be bobbing for apples with penguins. We're going to be doing some traditional broom making, some glass blowing. I think another thing, we're obviously going to see some animals. And I think we're going to meet someone pretty special. Oh, yes. We're going to talk to Jack Hanna himself, the world famous zookeeper. So stay tuned. We're going to talk to him coming up. And we're going to spend some time at Jack Hanna's Fall Festival this morning and hang out with some pumpkin heads. How's that sound, Adam and Maria? <laughs> pumpkin heads. Cameron, what will you say next? You crazy. Thanks, buddy. Well, what better way to ring in the cool temperatures than bobbing for apples? Cameron Fontana, he had to dive in. He is live at the Fall Fest over at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. Good morning, Cam. Good morning. I am so excited because we're with Jen at the Animal Encounters Village, and I think they came out a little bit too early. But who are these, Jen? Look at them. Well, they come dressed to impress. This is Sammy and Wahoo, and they are African black-footed penguins. Wow. So tell us about this village. Are they coming out? What types of shows are happening during the fall festival? Well, we have shows at 11, 1, and 3 o'clock, and the penguins make a presence at the <laughs> 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock shows. And then we also have penguin encounters, too, at 11, 30. 1.30 and 3.30, and they are pretty great swimmers, as you can see. They've got a lot of great tools to help them to be able to swim underwater. Uh, they actually have built-in goggles in their eyes. Whoa. A clear eyelid that comes across their eye like a windshield wiper to help them be able to see underwater to catch all those delicious fish. Yeah, because if we try to open our eyes underwater, it's blurry, and then you're like, oh, I can't see anything. Now, we were talking about this earlier. When I think of penguins, I think of, you know, happy feet and these little animals that live in Antarctica in the snow. How are they doing in Columbus? This is obviously a lot warmer. Yeah, great question. Well, this is actually a warm weather penguin. There are more warm weather penguins than cold weather penguins. I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. So not all penguins live in cold places, no matter what you see on Coke commercials. They all, they will actually live in warm places, too and more in warm weather than cold weather too. You can see in here we have the penguins. The bobbing for apples, that's something that's not only happening with penguins, right? That's across the zoo. It is zoo wide today from 10 to 3.30. We have a variety of different animals who will go throughout the zoo and be bobbing for apples, including the polar bears, the gorillas, that's the so lorikeets. Cool. Everybody gets included here and, and oh. gets the, to enrichment project. A uh, pretty enriching thing for them to do for sure. Wow, so we are so excited. Make sure you come out to the Fall Fest. You can see the apples are in here, and we're just having a great time. We're going to play some more apples coming up, and you know what? I'm going to try to bob for this apple right here. We're going to throw it a break. Stay tuned to the Good Day Columbus all morning long. I'm going to try to get it. You know, fall fun usually involves jokes like Andrew's. Mm-hmm. And also pumpkin carving. It certainly does and that's exactly what Good Day's Cameron Fontana is doing this morning at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. Well get in there. Good morning. Look at this guys. This is so cool. Um, this is Gus the Squash Carver, correct? Yes sir. Nice to meet you Gus. He's going to be here during Jack Hanna's Fall Fest happening today and tomorrow at the Columbus Zoo. Now you can see he's carving. You can kind of tell what it is. What are you working on right there Gus? Right now I'm working on a giraffe. Uh, they're here at the zoo for the first time in many, many years, so I thought that was a very appropriate animal to carve. Absolutely, and you can actually see the giraffes here they mentioned before, but hurry up. You don't want to wait too much longer before it gets cold, because once it gets cold, they have to go into their little giraffe barn and hotel, so you won't be able to see them then. But we learned something new today that not, I thought when I came over here, oh, this is a pumpkin, but this is actually a squash, correct? Correct. Um, all, all pumpkins are squash, but not all squash are pumpkins. Uh, in the giant pumpkin world, we actually call anything orange a pumpkin. The difference is a uh, pumpkin has a hard woody stem and a squash has a soft stem. So um, I call myself squash carver for that reason. I started with the giants and I continue to carve the giants as my preferred medium. So You learn something new every day. So 
Fall is around the corner. It's happening on Monday. Of course, we're all going to be carving pumpkins. What are some tips for parents and even some of the kids that will be carving pumpkins that you could give them? Well, uh, two things. Number one is uh, I like to use a fillet knife. If you're going to use a knife, always have two hands on the knife. Um, this way, you're always behind the knife. Okay. You can never cut yourself. The other thing that I use is called a clay carving tool. They're called loop tools. They're sharp on both sides, but they're not sharp enough to cut your fingers. Great. So I could even let you carve a pumpkin. Awesome. We're going to throw it back to you guys. I'm going to work on this main right here, and I'm going to maybe set this right here. Here we go. Hopefully I don't mess it up. Huh. He's, he's probably going to mess it up. Boom. Yeah, Boom. Don't cut yourself. <laughs> there we go. He's a natural. It's officially a team effort now. Absolutely. Thank you, Gus. We're going to throw it back to you guys in the studio, and make sure you check out Jack Hanna's Fall Fest here at the Columbus Zoo. Team Fontana. Thanks, Cam. Looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> Plus, Cameron Fontana is live at the Columbus Zoo. Stay tuned to Good Day Columbus. Coming up next, we're hanging out with Barbie, this porcupine right here, and someone very special we all know, the world famous Jack Hanna. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned to Good Day Columbus. We're talking animals at the Columbus Zoo. 814 right now. Hop into fall with some furry friends at the Columbus Zoo. Jack Hanna's Fall Fest is happening today. Cameron Fontana, he's already hopping. He's live at the zoo this morning with Jungle Jack himself. Hey, Cam. Good morning. This is so exciting. We're talking about the Fall Fest here at the Columbus Zoo. It's the Jack Hanna Fall Festival, and with me is the world-famous zookeeper himself. Good morning, Jack. Good morning. Remember, you're in a sticky situation. It is. Now, tell us about this. I, okay. Sticky. Like, he's gonna. He's gonna poke me. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Tell us about this. <laughs> tell us about this amazing creature right here. Well, this is an African porcupine, the largest in the world. Yeah, the North American porcupine is like the 30th size. These uh, Central American, South American prehensile tail porcupine, and this one, three in the world. People eat the porcupine throughout the world, even in this country. People don't know that. But this one here, see the quills here? These get much longer. I've only seen them once in a while. That was in Zimbabwe at 1 in the morning. They're mainly nocturnal. They eat like, like little roots and leaves, things like that. And these quills are used for weapons. In many, I'm talking about real weapons. I'm not talking about play toys. And they blow guns. These things get really thick. You can see that, right? They don't throw their quills, by the way. This one here is not like our porcupine in North America. They have a barb on the end of their quill. A lot of animals like cougars, dogs, uh, in this country, wolves die because of the infection. But this one here, they, you know, is, is much different. It stays on the porcupine? Well, yeah, but uh, if an animal obviously tries a lion or a hyena yeah. goes to get it, they might get it in their paws and their feet, but it doesn't cause an infection because there's not a barb on it. They can get them out. So what the, your shows are at 11 and 1 today, yep. correct? Yep. yep. And besides Barbie right here, which I love that name, yep. we have a very nice special animal, Febreze, right? Yeah, but uh, no, the big, for my show today is going to be, I got Bigfoot. Oh, yeah, Bigfoot. Yeah, yeah I do, yeah. Bigfoot's yeah. here. Really? Yeah, I just didn't want to announce it. You're the first one to announce it. I am so gullible. Whatever Mr. Jack Hanna <laughs> says, I just go for it because he just knows everything. Yeah, I sure do. Tell us about Febreze, the skunk right here. Well, it's real funny. They think Febreze. <laughs> I've been sprayed by a skunk, okay? And skunks are unique creatures. They really are. As a matter of fact, I'm, I just shouldn't have been done back when I was 11 in, in Tennessee. We had a baby. The mother was killed on it by a car. And I tried to raise it, and I did raise it, but it had to stay with us forever because you can't take a wild animal and keep it for any time and then try and put it back out. But the animals do have a smell, in a, a spray. And you just got to be very careful. Some people go to keep a closer look. If they can turn so fast and spray like you're, you're talking, probably I'll, I'll go by a football field 10, 20 yards easy, and wow. you, you'll not get it off you. You want to you want to see here? Put, yeah. Come over here. Oh, my okay. goodness. No, just you, go, you might just know Adam and Marie. If I come back to the studio <laughs> smelling a little no. funky, hey, wait, wait, it's go. not me. It's, it's, oh, he's escaping. No, 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 no. He's trying to get away. That's okay. Now the porcupine's coming up to me. All these creatures are here today. How exciting so, is it? I will have, by the way, today I'll have probably a snow leopard, a cheetah, all sorts of creatures. I'll be showing the people. I like it because I, I get to do a show locally. I do about 80, 80 this year. My voice is gone now for some we did last week in Florida. But I love the people of Columbus and in Franklin County, all the counties around here come up here today and I'll do all I can to sign pictures and, and have a lot of fun. Awesome. Come out here to see Mr. Jack Hanna himself this weekend. And coming up next, we have some more animals we're going to take a look at, right? Yeah, right here. Homo sapien female, about five foot seven. <laughs> yeah. This is Jen right here. And she, you won't believe her diet. I actually have her diet. Too <laughs> I think coming up next, we're going to, is it, is it a boa? Is that correct? Right. Yeah, Boa Derek, yep. Boa Derek. That's funny, isn't it? <laughs> funny man Jack Hanna here. Just stay tuned. We're going to play some more animals. Don't go in there a good day, Columbus. Adam and Maria, how cool is this? You know, you're going to have to ask him. Maybe he knows a fall joke for Andrew there, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Cam. The fall fun is starting early on Good Day Columbus. Happening today, Jack Hanna's Fall Fest is kicking off at the Columbus Zoo. Cameron Fontana, he can't wait, though. 
He's been there all morning long with Jungle Jack himself. Hey, Cam. Look at this, guys. It's a snake. Jack, tell us about this animal right here. This is a boa constrictor, boa derrick, Julia squeezer, whatever. <laughs> and these animals have about 200 teeth shaped like fish hooks. They're not venomous. But once they do bite, it's very difficult for them to let go. So you've got to be very patient. Uh, put your hand out there. You'll see what I'm talking about. Oh, right. No, and they can no. see this animal today, right? Yeah, yeah, here at the zoo. And again, we talk about wild kids. If they snakes can be this big, so that's the thing. When you have a snake, it takes a lot of work. It really does. They're a neat creature, and they serve their purpose in nature. Wow. So let's move right over here, Jack. This is one of the most amazing things that you will see, Good Day Columbus. Yeah. What are we about to see right uh, here? This cat's called the serval cat. It's from Africa. I've only seen him twice in all my time out there, even though they're, they're quite prevalent. They are endangered. Uh, look at this cat here. This is the only cat in the world, basically, who can jump 8 to 12 feet in the air and wow. catch a bird flying, catch a bird flying. Now watch this. We're, we're going to now see what happens here. The cat has to go back around. The cat's legs, you see front legs and hind legs are different lengths. Yeah. That gives him like a pogo stick, just, just, just fly right through the air. Let's see what happens here. We only have about another minute here, so okay, let's okay. see if he'll try and go after this bird flying. See, that represents a bird, that feather up there. That now, you said people are traveling, travel all around the world to see what this cat's about to exactly. do. Exactly, right, right. We just hope this cat does it. If not, you meant to just tape this and show it later. I don't know. We might have to show you later. This is amazing. Jack has talked about this cat will jump, you said, 10 feet in the air? Yeah, you'll, you'll see it hopefully here in a second. Well, let's see. Let's see if you can do it. Come on, little guy. There's look a bird up, up there. there. Look at there. There's a bird above you. Look it. But isn't he gorgeous? Talk about the kind of the, its fur and its, oh. He's about to do it. Yeah, he sees it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So he Maybe sees, he sees a lot of people here. here we, watch it. Whoa! Yeah. That's just a, that's just a warm up. Oh my goodness! You see what he did? That's the bird. Basically, obviously, some hamburger there. But that's what the cat can even go higher than that. And when you see that in slow motion, it's like nothing you've ever seen. The muscles quiver, and when he lands, it's like a he lands like this and just barely comes up with his muscles. It's absolutely phenomenal. You see the spots behind his back, yeah. our ears there? That keep, here we go. Let's see if we can do it again. Those spots keep this cat alive in nature. Here we go. He's getting warm tea. Now, there. You see that? That's amazing. It's amazing what it is. But those are called eye spots. So okay. the, the hyena would come up to try and, 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 and go after him. He's going to see those. They think those are eyes. They're called eye spots. So it looks like more than one. There's yeah, well, it looks like he's looking backwards at him. See? Ah. So that protects him a lot. Wow. The Egyptians, by the way, used to domesticate this cat. No longer is it up there. We know that because we see it on the side of the pyramids and on the mummies of the Egyptians. That's amazing. Well, yep. Jack, thank you so much for letting us hang out with your animals today. Yep. Yep. And we're excited that, again, Jack Hanna's Fall Fest is happening today and tomorrow at the Columbus Zoo. And I believe up next we're going to do some crafts that are going to happen here. Yeah, so great, we're going to have some more fun. Great crafts. You'll be here all day. I know you will. All day. All Back right. to you, Adam. Look at that. Look at that. Plus, Cameron Fontana live at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. You know, we all use one of these all the time. This is a broom. And coming up next, we're hanging out at the Pioneer Village. We're going to learn how they make these and check out some woodwork. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned to Good Day Columbus. Family in the fall spirit with some fun at the Columbus Zoo. Cameron Fontana is live at Jack Hanna's Fall Fest learning some pretty fascinating crafts. Good morning, Cameron. What exactly are you doing yeah, this here? Is, this is really cool, Adam and Maria. Good morning. We are in Pioneer Village, and this, is, this weekend is Jack Hanna's Fall Festival at the Columbus Zoo. And we're learning today one of the things is to learn how to make brooms. Is that correct, Kurt? That's right, Cameron. Okay, so show yep. us how it starts. How cool well, is that? Hey, man, it all starts with that. Starts with a seed. A seed. And then you wrap, yep. it grows, and then you wrap them. The pioneers would plant that seed, grow it, and this is harvest time for broom corn. They would go out there, harvest the corn, and get this stuff to work with. Uh, and then, like I say, this here is an Appalachian broom. It's like 1790 period of time. And you just started making this, what, about five, ten minutes ago? I did. Yep, I've got one more layer to go. Okay. A uh, quick layer around here. So you wrap it up, and yep. then you were showing me before, this is pretty cool. Once you get it all wrapped up, then you got to chop the ends, right? Yep. Yeah, let's see how you do that. Yep. you got to see this on camera. This is really neat. So we're going to go over here. I'll lift this up for you, Kurt. So I sew it with this great big needle to get the, okay, the, the stitches in that. there. Make it flat. Got it. And then you come over and put it underneath the big knife. And we're going to see the big yeah. chop. And here we go. Don't, don't cut yourself. Oh, wow, look go. at that. 
Yep. And that's how you make a broom. And right next to the broom station over here is some woodworking tools and some really unique objects. Charlie, real quick, what are some of the things that people can see you make today? Well, I'll be making uh, uh, stool legs and making legs for chairs and telling how a chair is made. Look at that. So you can come right here. You can kind of get that going. Look how cool this is. This is how they, they didn't have machines back in the day. This is how they used their brains and their ingenuity to create beautiful pieces just like this over there because that will eventually turn in to this. Look at that. Isn't that cool, Adam and Maria? All right, yes. Well, heat up your weekend with some wild activities at the Columbus Zoo. It's all happening now at Jack Hanna's Fall Fest and Cameron Fontana. He is there right now getting a lesson in <laughs> flame working. Cameron, be careful. <laughs> This is, this is called flame working, Adam. A lot of people know glass blowing. You can see the pieces over here. Those are kind of with blowing the glass, but this is a different technique, isn't it, Teresa? It is. This is called flame working, and I'm using rods of colored glass like you see here, and I'm going to add it to what's called a mandrel. I'm in the process of making a little glass pumpkin bead. These are so beautiful, it's so perfect, especially in time for fall. A lot of people know the charm bracelets, but this is kind of a newer thing. You can see over here, I know she's working, but she's got the whole charm place bracelet on her left hand. Those are all flame work pieces, yeah, correct? absolutely. Those are some of the uh, beads that I've made, and uh, they're really fun to, yeah. to add for uh, jewelry and, and uh, even... That's amazing. And you teach people over at the Ohio Glass Museum, you teach people how to do this, right? Yeah, we do. Down in Lancaster, Ohio, where we are located, the, uh, we teach glass blowing classes and glass bead making classes. And uh, it's a lot of fun. It's uh, something that you've always wanted to do. And, and how long have you been doing it for? 26 years. Wow, and you can see the details. You can see that she has perfected this. Look at these little pumpkins right here. So come out. This is at the Columbus Zoo. This is part of Jack Hanna's Fall Fest. If you come out, you can watch Teresa right here, make some pieces. You can buy these pieces here today. Listen, you need a cute little pumpkin necklace for this fall season here. Fall is officially Monday, and what better to go with fall than some beautiful jewelry like you're wearing, right? Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us today, Teresa. Good. I'm just going to grab some of these. Look at these sneak pieces right here. Check out Jack Canna's Fall Fest today at the Columbus Zoo. Don't miss it. It's happening today and tomorrow from 9 to 5. It's already open today. Come out here, say hi, see Jack Hanna, and watch some flame-working pieces. Adam Absolutely. and Maria. Absolutely. You know, what a good time. Cameron is so talented on so many levels. Flame-working, who knew? <laughs> Thanks, Cameron.